It's starting. Good evening, campers, and welcome back to Stellaris. I'm Commander Exorcist, and this is the ongoing saga of the Seabic Anomaly. I believe we're in episode 5 at this point, and this is how the galaxy looks at the moment. We recently joined the Galactic Council, and surprisingly, the Seabic Anomaly is number 2 in um, terms of diplomatic power. So, Situation log updated. things are looking good in our empire at the moment. Um, we are next to the Parian Star State. They are a race of Toxoids that we are trying to get to know. So we've got somebody out there improving our relationship with them. Yeah, we've got a lot going on here. Um, hmm. We're not going to use the Omni Codex at the moment. We'll just leave that alone. Um, let's see here. What do we want to do next? Um, hey, Hyper Relays. Let's go for Hyper Relays. That's cool. One of my favorite technologies from Overlord. So um, just kind of a recap for those of you just joining us. We are actually doing everything in this playthrough manually. That's right. So all planetary management manual all of the scientific research everything research complete. is on manual so that's why we're having to stop every so often and make key decisions on the future of our empire so and we've got opportunity to build a new star base to make sure we're still you know, the only thing we've really got automated is we have um, surveying construction and we've got uh, our archaeological sites that are being uh, looked at and we've also got astral rifts that's right so we are running the astral rifts DLC and we've explored a few um, we've explored two actually um, one we messed with a little bit the other we did not we chose to leave um, to leave it as it is because I didn't want to mess with any kind of ancient technology that would come to um, you know that would come back to haunt me later on in life so we're gonna leave that alone so let's see here we are improving our no <laughs> okay we will chant for his soul. Oh, we lost our Minister of Defense and... Okay. And our um, first warden. Oh, that's rough. So, let's see here. Let's start with our Minister of Defense. Let's fix that one. So, Oh, we don't have any uh, commanders. So, we will have to... There we go. And then our first warden... Um... Yeah, so, um, oh, it's on, it's on our head of research already. So this guy here is actually came through one of the uh, Astral Rifts recently. So he's kind of a gift for us competing or completing one of the Astral Rifts. Um, let's see here. Yeah, a lot of these are, okay, we'll go with the archaeology research speed. A lot of those had to do with um, anomaly research, anomaly exploration, that kind of stuff, and we just don't um, we don't need that. So, And we've reached kind of an impasse on our um, home world because we have no more we have no more room on Civicus Prime. So, let's make sure Yeah, we have no more room. 
So we're kind of stuck with uh, with our current setup. Which unfortunately, we're going to keep gaining pops. We just don't have anywhere to put them. So hopefully some of them will migrate on their own. Our science ship automation. What are you doing? You're surveying. So we'll add to your survey capabilities. There you go. Surveying those asteroids. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get any larger um, without taking territory. Research complete. <laughs> Via, um, all right, hyper relays done. Excellent. Plasma throwers. Did we ever get the ability to build? Nah, we don't have battleships yet. We got destroyers. But I tend to skip destroyers. Um, our doci. Yeah, let's go with political traditions, because at this point, we're going to have to focus heavily on our diplomatic capabilities if we want to go anywhere with our empire. Um, we've got a governor here, our head of research. Yeah. Let's go with additional research. Research we complete. Here? Wow, we're just really starting to... Uh, Ah, cruisers. Do I want to go with cruisers first, or... Yeah, we'll go with cruisers. And... Tile blocker, for sure. Oh. Blocker cleared. Ca capability. Hmm. So we've got the void cloud there, which we will eventually deal with. Right now, we don't really need to do anything with it. Will that put us over? Yeah, that'll put us over. So Council let's take it up to 40. Available. That'll give us a nice astral scar. Astral thread. Oh yeah, so it's gone, I guess. Cool. So we gained some astral threads, which is fine. We haven't really been spending those that much. Let's see, here it is. Yeah. So we've gained a few things. We were able to. Um, this was a cool one to get, to be able to kind of flash forward and uh, research hyperlanes earlier uh, than we normally would. Situation log updated. Birth of the Galactic Market. Excellent. Um, this scientist is just... What is he doing? Oh, he's just a governor? Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I'm not voting in favor of anything that um, reduces my diplomatic weight or affects my naval capacity. Protocols activated. We're going to abstain from that vote. Buzzword standardization. Sure, whatever. Non-interference act. So, should be given the chance... Oh, wait. Our official has uh, passed away. Okay. Get our next di diplomatic thing. Our doci has passed away. Well, it didn't really, it didn't say that. Research complete. That was odd. should be able to clear out some of this stuff. Nature preserve. It may never be tampered with. Oh, is that because we have the ranger lodge? I think so. 
That's okay. We got unemployment, which is which is a thing. Okay, so we've got a new doci, so we need a minister of defense. Um, we'll just take the younger guy because they're pretty much the same. Blocker cleared. Council agenda ready. Our council agenda is ready. And next we're going to go with... Research complete. Let's go with Evolving Society so we can get us a little bit of Unity Boost. Energy Nexus for sure. We don't need the Relic activation, but we certainly do need food. We're hurting for food already. bad that we don't uh... so let's do this and this and that <laughs> so let's generate a world here so we want our energy grid all right we've got a leader that our minister of state ah to reduce our upkeep Doci. Oh, military focused, huh? So a fleet organizer. <laughs> All right. So we'll build a star base there. And then. Oh, we're lacking in. Um... All right, we're lacking minerals. Not minerals, um, crystals. Because we haven't started mining those yet. So the Imperium of Tora has become militaristic. They are pathetic. Research complete. So is most of the empires around us, except for um, the Toxoids there. Well, let's, uh, let's unlock that. I think it's kind of strange that we're still... We're still struggling with... Um, do we have anybody who could... Build a spy network. It's risky because we're trying to gain we're trying to gain their trust. Like we want them to like us, but if it comes down to it, oh wow, we really are hurting for food too. Um if we can afford it, let's put some some farms down on these places. Ah, we've got one there. Oh, so we don't need another one. Yeah, the agricultural districts will take care of business Research here. complete. All right, we're, we've got cruisers. And habitats are coming. Habitats are going to be our saving grace because of us being kind of stuck <laughs> where we are. It's going to be our key to growth at this point. Yeah. Parian Star State. They're friendly. But our intel is growing as well. Your civilized weeds, some of the better ones out there, will talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. We really do. I'm, you know, I really wish that the espionage function was a little more useful. I mean, it's good for, what I like to use it for is to kind of open up awareness of 
whatever empire it is I'm looking at. And so here I can see a little more. Yeah, it's just there's not much to them. They would actually be pretty easy to take. And I'm wondering. Research complete. I'm wondering if that actually might be worth um, looking at <laughs> here in the near future. Moat harvesting traps. Ooh, uh, um, let's do, I know we're going to kind of break with it, but let's go with crystal mines on Wua because we've got we've got some uh, upgrades coming here pretty soon and let's add some amenities because the soldiers can't just have strongholds the soldiers have got to have entertainment so we're going to put some entertainment on that planet okay now we're we're low but the empire of Athol is not far behind us try to work our way up to Space friendly relations with these guys and then they are focused on their inward perfection and have little interest in outside okay so that's not good That's not good because that means they're probably not going to be willing uh, to negotiate with us. And in that case, we may just have to destroy them. I'm not sure that's what I want the Seabook Anomaly to be, but it might be, you know, kind of where we go. Let's see, what are we do researching here? So we've got our embassy complex, diplomatic weight increased by 10. It's coming up. So. It looks like the Azarian Pious Empire is kind of going to run away with this one, I think. Where are you guys located? Research complete. Okay, so they're not too far away. And... Uh, there we go. And then we'll go with gene clinics, clinics next. If that's still an option uh, when it comes back up. Very, very inferior. The very inferior. I'm not gonna up activate our relics, but we are gonna do. Oh, we got a Cybrix uh, artifact. That's cool. I always buy those. Not sure if they really do anything, but it is kind of cool to have. Oh no, our Minister of State has retired. Um, yeah. We'll just keep this guy. Ah, Astral Action. I like to spend my money on that particular Astral Action. Research complete. Moat harvesting traps are done. Cold Fusion Reactor. Excellent. Ships are almost done upgrading. Let's go ahead and add. I always click the wrong button on that one. Let's go ahead and add ten more to that to that fleet, so that we've got a nice little navy going on here for when we're ready to set out among the stars, and if we choose to bring blood and uh, carnage to other. Empires, we will be ready. Or if they decide to try to bring that crap here, um, we'll be equally ready. Okay. Got 
guessing that. So that's got... Wow, so all of my, uh, all of my planets where I did the, um, agricultural districts, they have workers. Let's, uh, go ahead and add a few more, and then another generator. Even though we're not technically short of them, we definitely can use more, because it looks like we're, we're just continuing to pump out new pops, and we need to make sure our that we're clear on all of these. If we're able to clear them. That one's going to be... That one's going to be permanent because of the Ranger Lodge. School of Engineer. I'm really hesitant to... I'm really hesitant to assign things like a naval capacity to leaders... Because if I lose the leader, then I lose the naval capacity. And I just, I don't want that to happen to me. Um, Alright, so our fortress world here. Yeah, we wanted to add hollow theaters. Blocker cleared. Because we want our soldiers to have theaters where they can go watch movies or whatever has some extra amenities. We got 10% crime, which is surprising, but I mean, we might have to add some um, we might have to add some precinct houses to this planet. We don't have many uh, building slots, but that might be when we one we have to do something about. Okay, so we're down to negative 8 on our food, so that's good. Excellent. Research complete. And hollow theaters are done. All right, that brought Locker our planetary cleared. balance up a little bit. Um, let's go with research complexes first. We're still 28 months away from habitats, but that's cool. Sure. Pretty sure. I'm, I think we've got the resources to support upgrading. So let's upgrade these to planetary capitals. Really starting to look good, though. We've got a lot of uh, got some heavy buildings on some of these worlds. And then Sevicus Prime is obviously filled to the brim. And we want to make sure that we've got anybody who's idle is out here being a governor supporting the effort. Wow, this is a really unstable world. Research Council complete. So, let's add that and then let's go with a higher purpose and then research wise oh, I yeah, it, it threw me off of there and then it gave me a warning that I didn't have any research. Six months away. Oh, we got a new building for each of them. So handshake protocols activated. Chemical plants. Who's shaking our hand? Oh, we don't have anybody to do anything with. Hey, we got our next ascension perk. Okay. So here is the deal. We have to make it. We need to make a decision. And we can go ahead and pick a, 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 an ascension tree, basically. So an agenda where we can transform ourselves via uh, psionics or we can become robotic. Which is um, a pretty cool thing to do. Um, let's do that. So we're going to become cybernetics. We're going to go down the cybernetic path. The Cebic Anomaly has Research secretly decided complete. that 
its future lies in the adoption of cybernetics and implants. So let's go with additional physics research. Oh my goodness, our Minister of Defense is gone again? Lose. Yeah, I think we lost. Yep, we lost the so that guy. And then we'll throw him in there. Hey, we've gained a favor. Let's check our... Oh, we've fallen. Seriously. Oh, okay. Handshake protocols activated. That sucks. Who's above us? Are they are they strong? They're inferior. It's their um It's their technology and their economy that's putting them ahead. Okay. Oh, that's the Imperium of Torah. What is this up here? This is the other one. Okay, so Research militarily complete. Militarily, they're all like basically pathetic compared to us. Okay, so we've got um, habitats. That is excellent. So we're going to take this, I'm going to bring it down here, and I want it to build. Oh, whoops. want it to build a habitat central complex here. There we go. Helps if you click the right combination of buttons. <laughs> and here is our <laughs> fleet of Corvette spam <laughs> that is just waiting to do its thing. And there's our home, Sebicus Prime, looking good. It's got a little bit of problem with its amenities, but that's okay. Oh, we got a few, uh, a few options here. So we got a Forge World. Are we needing jobs? Yes, we are. Let's add another one. How are we doing on employment? No, we don't need anything here. Let's go with crystals. Yeah, our um our ship was out there scanning and doing things and it shouldn't have been. So they're coming home. All right, so we have rare crystals now. Excellent. How are we doing? So you're coming here, and you're doing nothing. So I want you to build a hyper relay. What do we want to give our doci? Council agenda speed. There we go. All right. Research complete. So we're working toward building our first habitat and our first hyper relay. So Sebicus, the main star system, is about to become very busy. Oh, our Minister of Defense also got... Um, let's just upgrade his carefulness. The issue is that we're not really planning a war at the moment, so. Oh, cool. It's going to instantly build that thing? Let's see what happens. Oh, well. I guess that wasn't the one, was it? <laughs> Okay, 
we're going to hang out here for a second while we finish. Council agenda available. Hey, why'd he stop? Really? There we go. There we go. We flash forged it that time. And that, my friends, is going to be all for this episode before I click something else and mess it up. So we have uh, finished our expansion. This is as big as the Cebic Anomaly is going to get on its own. Unless we decide to go either vassalize something like the Parian Star State or conquer them. I have a feeling that we're running toward conflict between in this in this area here. Uh, these are not very strong empires militarily, but they have some pretty impressive uh, economies. And so the anomaly has to be able to sustain itself economically if we want to get into any kind of a protracted war. We're not planning that right now. We're just continuing to kind of build and solidify our place here among the heavens. Our biggest achievement, I guess you could say, is that we've started our hyper relay network as we continue to make things a little bit easier for our people. So let's we'll see what happens uh, on the next one. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Commander Exorcist. Take care, fly safe, and I will see you out there. Good night, everybody.